In architectural design, exposed wood beams use the structural components of a building in an aesthetic way. These beams are often made of glued laminated timbers. They're constructed by gluing together several layers of lumber and forming them into a particular shape, such as a curved arch. These beams look as though they're a solid piece of wood. However, they're actually laminated wood, several boards of lumber glued together to form one piece. The boards aren't layered haphazardly. Rather, the top grade wood goes on the top and bottom, where the beam must be the most resistant, and the lower grade wood in the middle. The boards are far shorter than the finished beam. Therefore, the first step is to extend each layer to the required length by connecting several boards end to end. To do this, a conveyor system transports 10 boards at a time to a mill. Saw blades trim the edges to make them perfectly square. Then revolving knives cut finger joints on both ends. When it comes time to connect the boards horizontally, the finger joints of one board will fit neatly into those of the next. The comb-like shape of the finger joints creates a far greater surface area to glue compared to leaving the edges flat. More glue makes for a stronger bond between boards. The glue is high strength and waterproof. It goes on brown but dries translucent. Workers line up the glued boards in a machine called a crowder. The machine's pressure rollers slide one board into the other, interlocking the finger joints. Then two plates clamp down on each joint, rendering the adjoining boards flush, should one be sitting slightly higher than the next. About 15 seconds of heat cures the glue. The connection is barely visible because the glue dries translucent. Now that each layer is the required length, it's time to adhere them vertically to make the beam. First, a glue applicator coats one side. Then workers turn the layers on their sides and stack them in a steel frame called a jig. Once they've stacked the required number of layers for the beam, they activate high-strength steel pressure vices. These apply high pressure for six to eight hours until the glue between the layers has cured. To make an arched beam, it's the same process, but they stack, then clamp the layers in a curved jig. Once the glue cures, this laminated wood beam is stronger than solid wood. However, there are still several more steps to go. A two-sided planer simultaneously finalizes the dimensions, evens out the ends, and removes excess glue that oozed out under pressure. Next, a computer-guided, multi-tool machine cuts, drills, and notches the beam according to the customer's technical drawing specifications. Then each beam gets a tag indicating the order number and part number. In the final finishing department, workers sand away any visual defects and smooth the surface in preparation for staining. Finishers apply one coat of wood stain with a roller, then work it by hand to ensure uniform absorption throughout. Once the beam is shipped to the construction site, the customer might apply a flame-proof coating, which would significantly slow down the rate at which the beam would burn in the event of a fire. The customer may also stain it a deeper shade to match existing woodwork.